The one here on the right is bigger. <laughs> They're poisonous? Hey, are they again. poisonous? They are. They are. Uh -oh. they are. So get down? So, yeah. Get down. Diego, how long is it going to take us to get to the top? 40 minutes. Or 30, depending how we walk. Okay. You guys are slow. Walking two hours. We're going to watch <laughs> the sunrise. I think we're kind of late for that. We are always waiting Big on this style. guy. <laughs> Let's go. Well, all right now we're following Diego uh, and Israel. They're taking us for a morning hike. Yeah, we don't man. really know a whole lot. We just know we're going hiking, buddy. <laughs> yeah. They said something about Monkey Mountain. <laughs> That's the name of the mountain. We got the sunrise over the mountains here. We got Monkey Mountain over there. It's just the one right there on the far right. We anyway. thought we were gonna see monkeys today. No, well, yeah, the thing is that there's a spider. Oh, nice, gorgeous. But the reason why they call it Mono, Cerro del Mono, or Monkey Mountain is because of they find a lot of monoliths, like statues from the pre Hispanic civilization really? in all this area. Now, let me ask you a question though. Why is always a fence? Like, because someone owns this property or why? Yeah. What they have in Canada and the United States is like um, indigenous or Indian reservation. Indian okay. reservation. They keep it like this for. They keep it like this, and all the people can still have their cows and their, yeah, all, all the, the animals are inside. Yeah. yeah. Talking about something so different than this, you guys know Diego is like international. No, we're like champion international surfer from Sayulita. What? Like, we got serious lucky. one, though. We got lucky having him. So we got lucky guys. to have him in. I'm and lucky to be with you guys. Ah, oh, <laughs> so cute, Diego. <laughs> yeah, the famoso Chupacabras. What is nice Chupacabras? Chupacabras <laughs> is that? What's the tale about this creature, like, kind of like alien -er? oh, He stole like, our cows and sheep? He just right. stole, he bites them and suck their blood. That's the whole story about it. Wow. It's like a vampire? And he was like a huge, like a vampire, but he's like a big iguana, right? He's like a huge iguana. Right. Just bite like, him. After he like, <laughs> he like, goes, <laughs> and then, <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> We met this morning, we got up super early, like super early, and met up with Israel, who's a friend of Rodrigo's. And he and Diego were kind of our guides to bring us to this place and take us, like, you kind of need a local here because the paths are super sketchy and you wouldn't know which way to go. It's crazy how much better it is to hang out with somebody like a local when you're doing activities like this because they offer, like, he's been telling us stories as we go up, telling us like, oh, we passed this rock and I get some hieroglyphics from ancient civilizations here, stuff that we would just pass right by. Watch, Watch your step. That. Did I just say that? Put water. some water in it. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. That's the good stuff. <laughs> this is fresh. Mm, that was amazing. <laughs> this is fresh. Try it yourself, come on. You put it in your face, it will make your skin smooth. Yeah, yeah. The fountain of youth. Yeah. It's, it's the only inclusive resort. Cool. You can yeah. do anything you want here. Cool. Anything you want. Yeah. So when we yeah. come back, yeah, let's go. Not too much, like, too much to walk. And not action. <laughs> I got a little excited. Yeah. Don't you feel so small? Down there? Yeah. It's Aguera Blanca. And then there's Punta de Mita. On the end. And the very end, and a point. All the point is all like private homes too. This is beautiful. What's that man. in there? Mm, beautiful. That's the Bay of Banderas. It's one of the biggest bays in the world. Mm. By the way, we, we did our own weapon. Troy, you mm. want to show our little weapon? Well, you could explain it. I think it's your creation. Well, you know, we just have a, an authentic <laughs> piece of wood uh, found on the Monkey Mountain. <laughs> Then we found a rib from uh, a cow who probably was sick and just died. All right, we made it to the top. 
The views are spectacular from up here. A little bit of rough terrain climbing up. We got some ticks, some spiders. What else do we see? Scorpions. Uh, <laughs> mud, I got a flat tire in the Jeep. Ooh. Oh, sweet. that's no uh, good. Or we may have a flat tire. <laughs> we got the pressure light happening here. Um, and we clearly drove over something glass. <laughs> yeah. Super lucky to have Israel uh, and Diego giving us a local's uh, eye view of this place. This experience would have been very different had they not told us their stories and shared their experiences up here with us. So feeling pretty grateful for that. And certainly this view would make anybody's day. in the jungle, right? Can you use leaves? <laughs> Sometimes you can use rocks, leaves, or sticks, you know, but, you know, a little bit more civilized is, you know, still some napkins from the restaurant.